What's up everyone, this is Jared Chak and today we have a super exciting video. We'll be taking a look at unboxing the brand new iPhone 8. We're going to see what we get inside the box, take a look at the phone and our first impressions. I was one of the lucky few to get my hands on the iPhone 8, so let's get started with this unboxing. Super fortunate enough to be one of the first to get my hands on an iPhone 8. But before we get started with the unboxing, I want to let you guys know that I will be having a giveaway once Apple releases the iPhone 8 to the public. So I just want to let you guys know to make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. But let's take a closer look at the iPhone 8. So this is a prototype slash dummy, the one you find offline, but it is a working dummy. And this is probably one of the closest things we have to the actual iPhone 8 once it is released. So my first impression of the phone and the box, it does look pretty legit and it looks like Apple released it itself. Seems like it's high quality, even the back has goes into details, but if you read the fine print you can tell there's some misspellings and you can tell that this is something that Apple would not release. So it does have a plastic seal right here, we're going to break this and see what we get inside this bad boy. And just a reminder, once the actual iPhone is released by Apple, I am going to be one of the first ones to review and box it. But right when you open it up, you get the design by Apple in California, just like it, as if you would with the real one. There's only one piece of paper right here, and it's supposed to be a quick start guide. And that's all you get. You don't even get your Apple stickers, so that's kind of sad right there. But that, we're going to toss that off to the side. Here's a quick little glance at the phone, but we're going to leave that off to the side as well and take a closer look at that in a second. So we have all the other accessories as if we were getting a real iPhone from Apple. So we have the wall outlet, the Apple ear pods right here, and they have this off white so you can tell that they are fake just because the real Apple ear pods don't have this uh, weird white color to them, but it has the mic and all that just like you normally would find. Then of course you have the lightning USB cable. So besides that there's nothing really exciting in the box. We're just going to shoot all of that to the side and let's take a closer look at the real product right here, the Apple iPhone 8 dump. One of the best sounds right there in the boxings. So my first impression is it seems very lightweight. We're going to turn this on and right away you can tell that there's borders on the actual screen itself. So the real one of course is not going to have these borders. But as we flip it over to the back, we have our first look at the dual cameras. And then you also have this mirror-like finish on the back, which I'm not a fan of at all. But besides that, it pretty much looks like and feels like an iPhone 6 or iPhone 6S. It has all the same buttons on the side, up also up on top. Okay, now just uh, starting apps, and here we go. We have the home screen right here. Now it is a little bit different not having the home button, and I do like that because you now have more real estate on the screen. But it is going to be a little bit of a change. If you look up on top, it has two dots and those are the sensors. There's different prototypes out there on the internet and the, some of them have four dots for the sensors. So it depends and we'll see what Apple actually ends up doing if they go something more with a classic design like this one right here. But the camera and everything on this phone works just like normal. Now usually with these prototypes, what it is, it's uh, Android skin. So it's actually not iOS running. But if we go to the settings, it actually says we're running iOS 11. So I'm really surprised to say that because most of the time they'll actually say even Android when you go to settings. Some of the major updates you can expect with the iPhone 8 is of course the camera on the back. Hopefully an edge to edge screen from top to bottom and as well as the sides. But at the very least we'll see a wider longer screen. On the back of the phone you can expect a glass backing just like the iPhone 5 and 5S's. But I really hope it's not like the backing of the prototype you see right here because it has a mirror like finish and let me tell you this thing is a magnet for fingerprints and you basically would have to carry around the cloth if you wanted to have a clean back. All in all I'm very excited for Apple to release the iPhone 8 in the upcoming weeks especially with all these clones and prototypes and all the different rumors we'll finally see which ones come to life and which ones are true. Tell me down below in the comments if you guys would be interested in seeing a separate video review of the clone of the Apple iPhone 8 right here. Like I said before, I'll be one of the first ones to get my hands on the Apple iPhone 8, so stay tuned for the review, and also you want to make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on the giveaway. If you guys did enjoy this little sneak peek of the iPhone 8 prototype hands-on, please do leave a comment down below and drop a like on this video. I'll see you guys in the next one, and this is Jared Tech, signing off. Peace.